Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Living Vegan. My name is Tori and today I'm gonna be showing you how I make my vegan ceviche. So I'm gonna just jump right into the ingredients. First things first, I'm going to be using my cauliflower head for the vegan substitute um, instead of the shrimp, just because that's like the only other vegetable or substitute that I can think of that is obviously not shrimp but has the same like kind of texture almost as shrimp almost and then which actually it does its job it does what needs to be done okay and then we're going to be using some lime juice cilantro red onion cucumber um jalapeno and tomatoes and carrots so, I'm going to just go ahead and get right into it. Also, I'm going, with this recipe, you can either use tostadas or tortilla chips. So, for this recipe, I'm going to be using some homemade kind of tortilla chips. Okay. Okay. So, I'm not left-handed, but the way my kitchen is set up, this is the best way I can show y'all. And I know you can't really see. So what I mean when I say slice away at it, just kind of go like this. Oh, yeah. And then you can crumble these up like that. And I'll use about this whole thing. And then just have it finely chopped up. So now what I'm going to do is use my little, I don't even know what this thing is called. What is that? A little juicer type thing. Then I'm going to squeeze a whole bunch of lemon juice in here and let it soak probably about 30 minutes or until I'm done chopping up everything else because I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> and I'll get more. I don't have ceviche like um, with shrimp once or twice before I turned vegan. So and it was a long time ago. So we're gonna see what they do. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing. I promise one day I'm gonna get one of those uh, stands where I can put it over me so I can actually see what I'm doing.
So now that the ceviche is done, um, I just have it marinating in the fridge. Every, everything is getting acquainted with everybody up in there. So I'm going to start on my homemade tortilla chips. And if you didn't know, you can make homemade tortilla chips if you just use white corn tortillas. And I actually like that better because it's more cost efficient, if that's if I'm using the right words. And it's also, it also tastes better and lasts longer. So we're going to get that started. This is, these are also what I use to make hard tacos. I don't like the store-bought store hard tacos. I don't know why I just don't like them. I would just rather, you know, make my own. And like I said, it really is friendly on the wallet. Ain't no shame in my game, okay? <laughs> so, but I use, for, if I'm using the corn tortillas for a taco, I'm gonna use the yellow corn tortillas, not the white. The white is what I use for making the little tortilla chips. So, in a pack of 30, I'm probably gonna grab half, honestly. That's a pretty thick, Pile. maybe that's half and then I'm just gonna cut it like how you cut a pizza so just like up and down side to side and diagonal so we're gonna do it all while they're in that that pile or maybe even split the pile up into two piles I'm not gonna do it one by one because anybody got time for that I'm so hungry did you taste that ceviche because it's good go ahead and get you a bite because it's good Okay, before you go any further, if you're cooking with me and not watching, you're only going to do vertical, horizontal. Because if you do the diagonal, then your chips are going to be too thin. So this is the size that they are. Uh, just doing vertical and diagonal. So that's good for me. So now my pot is heating up and I'm going to go ahead and put in my vegetable oil. And then I'm gonna have a bowl. I rinsed out one of the bowls I used earlier. I'm gonna use that bowl. I'm gonna put some paper towels in it so that way the grease can catch, the paper towel can catch the grease. And then I'm going to season my tortilla chips with some sea salt and a little bit of lime juice. Voila! Bam. I'm gonna let this heat up. I'm gonna go take a break, wash me a little bit. Uh, three, two, one. So I'm gonna let this oil heat up and take me a little break because my dog's been barking. And watch me a little bit of girlfriends. And I'll be right back when it's time to cook those chips. Okay, so now that my oil is heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and start drumming in some cheese. And they cook pretty fast, so. So, this is like the color that I like them. You can go a little bit lighter. I probably should have taken them out a couple seconds before, but I like them like this. Girlfriends. 
my chips or whatever. test test because this right here looks good you know i've been eating it since i've been making it we're gonna do it anyway This is the one. I think this is my favorite, my new favorite vegan snack. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe just as much as I did. Um, I have planned on waiting two weeks because I already have a video for this upcoming Monday, but I think this just took that spot, so skirt. Cause this is just too good to keep away from the world my goodness so again thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next week on meatless monday